part two. Let's there we go. Front plane sketch and uh, draw three lines uh, like this. Make sure that this one is coincident with the origin and it's 0 0.25 from this edge and it's a 0 0.75 the length is 10 and make sure that these two are vertical and this is the sketch and let's just make one small edit from the previous parts go to revoke to edit sketch and delete number two dimension and make angle here around here 45 from view and this is what we needed to, to have now it's okay and we uh, open the sketch and now it looks different as you can see so let's add uh, one tangent arc from this line somewhere around here and it's a uh, 5 like this radius is going to be 2.75 so another tangent arc let's just first finish this one here so uh, these two are going to be horizontal and this one and this edge they are going to be coincident so here we should have hmm. let's uh, click on this face and make intersection curve delete this line here and make this for construction now the gap between should be uh -huh. Ok, let's delete relation between these two delete horizontal and now we can place 0, zero 0.1 Oh my god, no, that was, that was ok, sorry <laughs> Get back the relation Ok, now delete this dimension, we don't need it and <laughs> sorry for this error and let's make another tangent arc like this and another one here so these two points are <coughs> horizontal distance between 0 18 and these two are also horizontal distance between uh, 0 1 and of course close the gap that's it and do a revolve of course this is going to be the axis and you should now have two uh, side bodies now next thing is uh, front plane sketch and let's draw one small line from this point here from the revolve we just did something like this and one line from this point till till here somewhere and now it should be 2.75 and 3.75 like this okay and it should be tangent 
and dra uh, drag this handle uh, to the left side like this now let's make one center line by using midpoint of this edge and make it vertical so that we can add the angle here and it's going, it's going to be 5 now here we have 10 here we have 20 and it's a uh, 12 sorry 12 between mm, mm, 12 from this edge from this edge to the point okay and it's a 13 between the center line and the point and I think that's it exit the sketch and we need one sketch on this small face here and go to convert entities uh, let's watch from the top draw two lines like this and the angle between is going to be 75 now make them both vertical and one of these should be coincident with the cycle which means they are both or they are not okay let's make a center line uh, horizontal and the angle between is going to be 75 by 2 ok now that's that's what we need trim here and trim here and here so this is what we have to get we need to have just this small arc <coughs> exit the sketch of course and now let's make a top plane I mean the plane using using top plane and this sketch point of the sketch and sketch of course hide the plane and draw arc like this make sure it's uh, in horizontal alignment with the uh, origin and also center line from origin goes to midpoint and make it horizontal Another thing is that this point of the sketch is going to be uh, coincident with this one. And what the hell is it? Undo. Let's try and make it coincident with the arc. What the hell? I really don't understand some sometimes. Let's let's make a <laughs> let's make a twenty five radius. Okay now it's now it's fine. This is what I wanted. What I wanted. And let's drag this point somewhere around here and make a relation I mean dimension 17.5 and watching from the top it's okay now we need surface loft so lofted surface profile is this sketch and this one and this is the guide curve and we got it and now just do a select this small face again offset surface by zero okay top plane and sketch okay and let's convert this sketch and just add uh, 
one point like this and another one make sure that they are both finishing in the origin so now go to trim and trim this left side make sure that you don't touch this one and I think that's it for this trimming yes it is it's a really small surface here <laughs> I hope that you can see this now go to knit surfaces and knit them both together trim and locked if it says trim and locked it's, it's okay and yes okay go to thicken and I have already selected but le let's reselect and of course I forgot how much this should be let's try one no other side okay it looks okay so now let's uh, delete the ticket because we have to do something before before that uh, right plane sketch and let's draw an ellipse here so it's gonna be 12 by 13 and a half so make sure that it's uh, that the ellipse is vertical and horizontal they their points and this point is from the origin 205 exit the sketch and go to trim and trim this gap okay and now let's do a thicken we can do it by one and let's edit something in this thicken thickening go to feature scope selected bodies auto select no let's just select this cap and we again have only two solid bodies we also need one fillet so fillet by six for this edge and for this one another thing is fillet 0 25 this edge, this one, and this one, and this one. <coughs> Coffee is great. And what do we got, got left? Front plane sketch. And do one line like this not this small bigger and make it normal to this edge and it goes from some of these points it should go one so split line two and select these faces no, not this one. What the hell I'm doing? Only this face is here. And the inside face. So that we can paint later this to black and this to green. And there is only two Borg uh, letters left here and I think we're done so front plane sketch and draw arc like this make sure that both points are horizontal and one of them should be coincident with this edge and the other one of course and it goes one point goes 100 30 from the origin and the radius is 225 
Let's try and make 200. Now this is for construction and press this text. Tool curves is this. Arc text is of course caps uh, lock tool work. It's a center alignment. Uh, do not use the opponent font. 105% here. And the font is going to be something like Georgia. Let's find A, B, C, D, F, G and points 24. Okay. And let's try and make this radius even smaller. So. No. 150. Exit the sketch. And let's wrap that by 0 0.5. And boss, of course, on this face. gonna take some time and the letters are not so perfect because of this uh, spherical face but again it doesn't look that bad <laughs> and let's do the same on front plane we are again need this sketch so show and let's just convert this edge uh, for construction and select sorry let's hide this sketch and select and again type in the toolbarg this time make this direction opposite and same inputs here 105 font georgia uh, okay uh, points 24 and that's that's okay Wrap this face in reverse direction, so it is going to be on the on back surface, as you can see. So I hope you like what you have seen here, one really short and easy tutorial. In next video I'm going to show Keyshot rendering because I have I have some prepared decals and let's paint this model for the end of this, this tutorial. So split line is this body and the wrap is uh, the bottle and go to high I mean that plastic the glass uh, texture and here it is green gloss glass I'm gonna edit the color just a little bit mm, darker green okay and this body is going to become uh, the cap is going to become black painted car black mm. yes and let's try make this revolve plastic high gloss green And these few faces here should also be green. Let's hide this uh, bottle. Okay. And I think that only these faces here 
should be white or something like metallic color so let's make it white and so when you import this to Keyshot it's gonna be white of course we got some gap, some small nonsense here but this is not affecting the look of the model let me just check something mm. yeah that's it so we are done thanks for watching guys and hope see you hope you see my next video <laughs> hope I see you in my next video something like that